Good to see you as always. I have an important question. What should I do with my old 401k? And the reason I'm asking is because 41% of people from 2014 to 2016 cashed out at least part of their 401k when leaving a job. Of those, 85% cashed out the entire thing. So we're going to walk through a few options, some better than others. But I guess the first option, Nick, is that you could simply cash it out. Yeah, you could cash it out. And some people do this and they don't think about the tax ramifications right. of cashing out. I mean, first, go back. When you're in your 20s starting a 401k, you're doing it because you want to retire someday. And so if you cash it out, you're not going to be able to retire someday. Uh, and some people also don't think about the tax ramifications, like I was mentioning. Um, some people will say, well, you know, I need to buy a car, so I'll just take money out of my 401k to buy the car. Or I need to put money down on a house. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take money out of my 401k to put money down on the house. And here's why I personally think that's a bad idea. If you cash that money out, you're going to have to pay taxes on that money to get that money out. So let's say you take $100,000 out to be able to put down on an expansion on your house. Well, you might have to pay 25%, let's say $25,000 in taxes just to get that $100,000. So it's a slippery wow. slope. You're saying, I need $100,000. Yeah, but what about taxes? Right. So you right. might have to take out $130,000 to get the $100,000 that you need for your project. Mm -hmm. And then that money is gone. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to build up that $100,000 in that 401k? So that's right. why I tell people, try not to do this as best as possible. Um, you know, that, that's, you know, one thing that you don't want to do is to try and cash out that 401k. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the second option would be to leave it with your old employer. And I think that this is what 20 year old Aaron did a lot. <laughs> what did you do? I left my 401ks with many of my old employers. Oh, how many? At least three. <laughs> and, and so uh, did you just not know what to do or what your options were? I didn't even think about it. I, I never thought of cashing it out. I just yeah. thought I would leave it alone. And, you know, I would check in every now and then and I saw that it was getting bigger. So I was like, all right, I'm fine. Yeah. And so a lot of Americans, this is what they th what they're doing. You know, the average American actually has six different jobs. And oh. so it's not unusual for us to see people with three, four or five 401ks with different companies and it becomes a situation where they can't really figure out what am I supposed to do with all this? And it's too hard to manage because I got to learn this platform and that platform and they use Fidelity, but they use Schwab and this one uses Empower and, and it just becomes this big mess. So here's the rule of thumb. This is what I would have told 20 year old Aaron. If you aren't at your job, your 401k shouldn't be either <laughs> Okay. because every 401k has limited options. Um, they just typically have mutual funds, you know, equity mutual funds, bond mutual funds, maybe a stable value fund, maybe company stock, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And so here in a world where you have thousands and thousands and thousands of investment options, your 401k may only have 25 options, 20 options. I just looked at one for a Fortune 500 company, one of the biggest companies in the country. In a world where there's literally thousands of options, they only have like 25 different mutual fund options right, and that's right. it. And so uh, I, I, I typically, I try and tell people, if you're not your job, your 401k shouldn't be either. Mm -hmm. So if you leave your employer, don't leave it there, move mm -hmm. it out. Well, it's too bad I didn't know you a long time ago, Nick. And, and just back to your nugget though too, yeah, 30% of people change jobs in 2022 right. alone. So this is a very relevant topic right now. So Absolutely. then let's talk about option number three, which would be to roll the old 401k into your new employer's plan. Well, so that's that a lot of people do that because they say, oh, I'm going to consolidate, right? I'm going to keep things simple. I'll just move my money from one 401k to the other so I don't have two and it makes sense. But you have the same problem. You're moving money from one plan that has limited options to another plan that also has limited options because 401ks, how I look at them, is the corporation sets it up and you're handcuffed to the options inside that 401k. And I don't like to be handcuffed. You know, we, we set up a 401k too here at the company. And I was shocked when we were setting that up about the limited options. I mean, me as a, as a, you know, an investment advisor representative, I know all the different options out there. I know the, the universe of options. And when the 401k uh, uh, people set it up, I looked at them like, that's all we get. That's it. It just mm -hmm. seemed crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you can do it that way. I think there's a better alternative. 
uh, because I don't want to move from one plan that limits me to a whole nother plan that limits me again. Right. Well, my investment options for my 401k was when you're going to retire. It was just simply a target date fund. So well, yeah, absolutely. Said. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to our fourth option. Roll that 401k into an IRA. And here's where we start talking about options. Yeah. In my mind, this is the best option. Um, the reason I, th I think this is the best option is it literally puts you in control of what you're able to do. You have virtually the entire universe of options at your fingertips versus just the few choices in that 401k. And so think about it like this. When you are in a typical 401k, it's just mutual funds. So it's the stock market world. And it's usually just a little piece of the stock market world. Whereas when you move money into your own IRA, a 401k into an IRA, um, it's going from a 401k, which is a corporate plan. And when I say 401k, I could also be saying 403b or 401a. It's all those types of plans. They all kind of work the same. A 401k would be like a corporation plan like Disney or Lockheed or Siemens. They have 401ks. But in the, you know, but you have Orlando Health or you might have Adventist, you know, at Advent Health. They have 403Bs, same type of plan, corporate plan. And they set up these options. But you can take that money and move it into your own IRA, mm -hmm. which is individual retirement plan. And when it's individual, now you have complete control. Mm -hmm. You can move it into the stock market world or the insurance world or the banking world in an IRA and have much, you know, many more um, you know, opportunity for where to have that money invested. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, they don't do this. And maybe 20 year old Aaron, this is why is because you're thinking, yeah, but I don't know how to do that. So Absolutely. that's right? exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. And, and, and it's not hard to do. It's something called a rollover. It's right. incredibly common. It happens every day. And so all a rollover is, is where you take a 401k and then you set up an IRA and you take the money from the 401k and you roll it over into the IRA and it's and when you do that it doesn't cause any taxes because it's going from one plan to another plan and it's going from custodian to custodian and it's very simple but now that it's in that IRA now you have many options on on putting that money out you mm -hmm. have you know tons of choices on on how you can get that money invested in my mind this is the best place to do the best strategy if you have a 401k or a 403b or a 457 and you're no longer there, 20 year old Aaron should have taken the very first 401k and moved it to her own IRA. And then when you had the second job, take that one and move it into your IRA. <laughs> well, now you I know. Third Nick, job. No. Now you know. Yeah, and you're 20 years too late here. But this video, this video will be for my children. Okay? There you go, right? So and they no, don't make like, the same mistakes. I don't know if you grew up in the days of uh, G.I. Joe. I know I did. And they said, yes. knowing half the battle. Well, now knowing's half the battle. So that's good. All right. Well, Nick, if somebody does want to talk through, you know, either rolling over their 401k or how to um, invest that IRA, what's the best way to reach you? So the best way to reach us is just give us a call, uh, eight four four group ten, um, and and reach out and, and set up a fifteen minute strategy session. And it goes beyond. You know, I, I know we talked about four hundred one ks. If you're not at your job, but there's a lot of opportunity for people mm -hmm. who are over. 59 and a half, they may mm -hmm. still be working, but they have these big 401ks and they're thinking to themselves, I guess I have to leave that 401k at my company until I leave work and retire. And then I'll invest that money. And that's not the case. If right. you're over 59 and a half, you can do an in-service rollover, basically taking that money and rolling it over, even though you're still working, but because you're 59 and a half, you can roll money over from a 401k into an IRA and start investing it in the broader range of, of, of investments and not be limited. So that's definitely an option. So there's all sorts of different things. And another thing too, we talk about taxes. If you are saving money in your 401k, here's another pro tip. Look to find out if you can save in the, in the Roth side of that 401k. Mm. Now, if you do that, now you can start creating tax-free wealth. And that's going to be very, very important in the future because I think taxes are going to go higher. And I think if you have Roth money, tax-free wealth, that's going to help you down the road and you won't have all these tax issues that we're talking about because 401ks and IRAs are in, in, in essentially ticking tax time bombs waiting mm -hmm. to go off mm -hmm. when you start taking that money out. So these are things we can help you with. You can go to our website too, group10financial.com. 
And there's lots of information. You can even schedule a visit right online there. We can do that by phone, by web, whatever is comfortable for you to help you get the information that you need to make educated decisions. All right. Well, this was very helpful and very informative. Nick, thank you very much. Aaron, good being with you. Thank you.